Warren Gatlin was just in here saying Steve Hansen seems like he's a bit worried. Based on what you saw from the Lions tonight, do you think he has a reason to be worried? Yeah, I think he'll, um, he'll know how the Lions are going to come at him. Um, I don't think there'll be much change on what we experienced out there with you know, their good scrum, their line-out drive and their um, aerial attack. Yeah, Colin, uh, you look like you sort of struggled to, to really get into the game tonight. What, why do you think that was? Was it uh, the Lions' dominance or, or was it just a sort of failure to get things going on your end? <clears throat> yeah, I think, um, you know, we made too many mistakes, particularly under the high ball, and gave, gave them the opportunity inside our half. And we were under pressure in our half, but when we got out of our half and got into their half, we looked better. Um, but we couldn't ma uh, maintain that because probably too many errors. Um, their defence was pretty good. Ash. Ash, um, how did you feel about the build-up leading into this one? You guys didn't peak too early, did you? No, I felt with the week that we had, we prepared as well as we could. Um, you know, we started pretty well tonight. I thought in that first half our defence was holding and, and at times we had good momentum, but... I think that second half when we came out, our, our discipline really let us down. You know, we a penalty and then we're in our half and then another penalty and then a drop ball. And I think at this level, it's crucial that you've got to exit really well and you can't make a lot of mistakes, I guess, in your half. And we got pinned down in our corner for a good good 20 minutes there and we paid the price. And I think it, we gassed ourselves as well. Um, we lost a bit of energy in the tank and a man down two in the bin doesn't help. So... You know, the, the Lions performed really well in the end and, you know, came away with a win. Uh, yeah, Colin, we talked during the week about the aerial threat of the Lions and Warren said tonight he was really happy with how that went. Why do you think you guys struggled to, to contain them? Conor Murray was kicking really well from the base and also Sexton out at 10. Was it, was it just uh, the, the kicks from them which were, were, were too good? Was it the positioning of, of your players? I mean, why do you think that was? Well, I think it's... Um you know, they're pretty experts in their, in their kicking game. So they gave a lot of height and a lot of chase, which allows the chase. And, um, you know, we dropped, dropped too many. Um, and, and again, that pressure, when we did catch them, just maintained that pressure. And um, we struggled to get out of, as Ash said, out of, our, um, out of our 22 or out of our half and played most of the game in there, particularly in that second half. And I guess when you get a man down, and you've got kickers like that, and the pressure that they were bringing on us, we, um, we had to you know, fight really hard, and we're lucky not to the score to get bigger. Uh, Angelo? Uh, Colin, to what extent did uh, Tara Kerbalo's yellow card change the game, in your opinion, or the trajectory of the game? <coughs> and uh, secondly, uh, was it a fair yellow card, in your opinion? Well, they, they scored two tries from it. Um, so it hurt us big time, and and against an international team like that, if you try and play 14 men, you know you're gonna you're gonna suffer for that. Um, the the guy was falling. He was he was going forward. Got told he couldn't wrap his arms. Uh, didn't wrap his arms. He said to me he couldn't wrap his arms, but still discipline. You know he shouldn't have probably shouldn't have gone there. Uh, Nigel. Colin, um, Damien McKenzie, his performance at first 5-8, how much is that young man going to learn from tonight and is that something that you may consider sort of referring back to maybe next year when you take over a Super Rugby team? Well, I think he's a 10. Um, you know, I, um, he hasn't had a lot of time at 10 in the, in the past, so um, he'll build. Um, he got injured in the end. We had to pull him off because of an injury. Um, but, you know, he's only going to get better with more time. Uh, it's a major position, 9 and 10. I think the kid's equipped to be a good 10. Yep, down here. Ash, how, how impressed were you, with, were you with that Lions forward pack? And do you think they can beat the All Blacks? Yeah, definitely. They're gonna, um, it's going to be, be a really competitive test series, I think. Um, they came out in that second half and performed really well. They, they kept it simple. And in conditions like this, that was quite trying and that ball slippery, they, they played to their strengths and that's what you've got to do um, at this level and above. So, um, yeah, I think next week it is going to be really a really contested series. So I think the All Blacks have got the smarts as well. I don't think they'll be, you know, foolish and just think they can roll up. I think it's going to be 
um, a really highly contested test series and we're going to be in for um, some good footy. Ash, um, this is a very similar question, but uh, a lot's been made about their pack, obviously. More performances like this will only increase that type of talk. You've played a lot against a lot of packs in your career. Were you at all, um, ever, did you feel overwhelmed by them or was it just more you sort of your own undoing? Um, no, I don't want to take nothing away from the Lions pack. I thought they performed really well. Um, I think it's just a, it's a bit different to what we're used to. Um, I guess a northern, a northern Hemisphere type of pack compared to a Southern Hemisphere, you've got to understand of what their strengths are and what they're trying to do. Um, I think when we understood that and managed to stay in front at scrum time, we were good. But um, I guess when we went on our own individual tour, we paid the price there and we just, it was just simple. We, we spent too much time in our 22 and it just gassed us and you can't play foot at that end of the field. You've got to be at the other side in conditions like this. Yeah, Ollie? Uh, yeah, Ash, they were clearly playing for points, especially in that first half. Halfpenny was, was kicking really well. With, with you guys giving away those, those penalties and, and then constantly converting them into points, were you looking to change anything that you guys were doing on the field? And did you think that the referee um, was being a, a little too lenient e either way? Um, I, I think definitely for us, you know, like we did give a lot of silly penalties away that we wouldn't, that we wouldn't have liked. Um, at times, I thought we put on some good pressure around the breakdown and, and had some good line speed when we um, made the collision really well at the breakdown. But then again, we just we went on our own path and didn't really um, stick to the game plan at times, and it did cost us points. So, you know, I think next time if we do have another chance, that we've just got to be smarter. Um, it's another level up, so we've got to be smarter in these situations. Yeah, we've got one down the back, Nigel. Colin, uh, what would you like to see out of uh, any possible end of year tour for the Māori All Blacks this year, if they were to come around? I think the end of the year tour is um, really important for Māori rugby. Last question. Um, it's, it's an opportunity to uh, bring some younger guys in and, and develop them um, and get ready for the next Lions tour. You know, it's... Um, it's a one-in-a-lifetime game, um, and I think um, to help Māori rugby, the more we tour, the better. Yeah, three games would be would be great. I think if um, would have been nice to play another game before we play the Lions, um, but in the super in the super competition, that's very difficult. So. Yeah, we'd, um, there's so much learning for the group after tonight's game. Uh, Colin, just on the injury situation with Matt Proctor and perhaps Damien, um, any others that, and can you update? Um, I'm not sure where Matt is, but he, um, he didn't look too good and uh, uh, Damien's neck is um, pretty stiff, so I'm not quite sure how long that is.